What? What is happening? What's going on, psychos? Come on, son. Who is ready to watch last night, Gus? This dude with the old school earbuds is. We are so stoked that today, Dulé and I are going to be watching an entire episode of Psych chosen by you, our fans, our psychos, mm -hmm. and laying down a live commentary track right here on YouTube. The YouTube. You know that's right. So be sure to have your Peacock account pulled up so you can watch along with us. Best part? Psych episodes are free. What? Nada. They cost nada. Wait, wait. Nip. Did you say free? I did. I said Fred. Fred. That's what I said. Come on, son. There'll be a time code at the bottom of the screen so that corresponds with the episode on Peacock so you can match it up. Match it right up. Mm -hmm. But wait. First, we're going to get started with some fan questions, plural, before we uh, watch the episode to give you all time to get it set up because, you know, technology and whatnot. I mean, Rodé, did you just say fan questions? Is that what you said? I said fan questions. Oh my yeah. gosh, we're about yeah. to answer some fan questions. Plus, you know what I'm saying? Make sure to stick around after for a sneak peek of our upcoming Peacock original movie, Psych 3. This is Gus. Exclusively on the Peacock. Drop a pineapple emoji in the chat if that sounds good to you. But hey, let's get into this, right? Let's do it. Let's twist this. Huh, let's see, let's see, Rodé, let's see. How long did it take you know, for us to get that on-screen chemistry? I mean, from episode one, it seemed like we were actual you know, fr friends from childhood. What would well, you that's say? A testament. That's a testament to our craft, I would say. The, the know, craftsmanship. Because we are, well, craft because munchie. we're masters. We're masters of our craft, and we knew that our job was to uh, present as uh, two adults that had known each other since mm -hmm. childhood. So that was the work side of it, and luckily, you know, we both have a refined skill set and are classically trained. You in dance, me in the theater. Yes. But uh, beside that, I would say uh, dumb luck. Dumb yeah. luck, probably, because, uh, you know, it could have gone the other way, and then we would have had to, we would have had to act so much harder. Yeah, uh, it would have been long years. We started, years. We started long laughing seasons. at each other's. Yeah, we started laughing at each other's nonsense almost, almost instantly, and mm -hmm. and really embraced the fact that we both uh, have a, a unique ability uh, to spew uh, absolutely useless information from our mouths. True. And and it was an easy thing to bond over. Mm -hmm. And uh, I can't think of anyone I would have rather spent um, my thirties with than you. Oh, oh, thank you, brother. Thank you. I appreciate it. You, you know, you have to remember that we also bonded over our mutual love of 80s music. That's right. We did. 80s. Yep. Early 90s. That's new right. wave and hip hop. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And then we had, I remember on the pilot, we came up with a, our own little song, you know, our own little song, which I think I can bring out right now. I can pull that out of my pocket right now because see, we own that What song. was it? Stuck on yeah, you. Well. Stuck on you. Stuck on you. Yeah. Yeah. Remember the we always side? said we would go back and work on the verses because the chorus was so strong. So strong, yeah. Girl, yeah, I'm really, never... really stuck on you. Really, Girl, really I'm stuck really, really on you. Oh, yeah. Come on, man. That's why it's still yeah. hot 15 years we, later. What? We wrote, that, we wrote that together within minutes within of knowing minutes. each other. Come that's, on, man. That's how we knew that it was all going to be good. All right, next question. Have I ever tried to make cuatos quesos dos fritos? Now, the answer is that I am still alive, which means I have not. Right? <laughs> I would, I would, I would have to join with Rodé on that and say no. I've never tried to yeah. make cuatros quesos dos fritos. No. Um, all right. What is uh, what is our favorite unscripted moment from the show? Hmm. I'm going to get a little serious here, Dulé, and you can you can pull us back up after if you'd okay. like. Uh, I'm going to have to go through the whole series. I'm going to fast forward all the way up till uh, the second movie, which was called uh, Lassie Comes Home. And the reason it was called Lassie Comes Home is uh, because uh, Lassiter came back to us both as a character and as an right. actor. So I think my favorite unscripted moment would have to be the moment that uh, Tim Amundsen yeah. uh, walked back onto the set in Vancouver surrounded by uh, 
by a cast and crew, mm-hmm. and we were all ab- able to celebrate the fact that we had him back with us. I don't know if anything will ever top that one. I don't think so. No, no, I don't. I don't really have anything more to to add to that because that's. Although a close second, a close second is when Jaleel White stole your peanut butter and jelly sandwich. That's cool. Uh, I took a bite out of it. Yeah, I'm, st- I'm still upset about that. I really am. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm gonna that get Jaleel back one of these days. I don't know when. I don't know how, but I will. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, see. see. Will we still be uh, playing Psych? Will we still be playing sixty-year-old Gus's and Sean's uh, in Psych? You know what? I'd do it. I would do it too. I would do it too. Here's the thing. I was just talking about this the other day. I think it would be hilarious when we're 60 years old if we do a remake of Viagra Falls. Where we're <laughs> Bill Devane and Carl Weathers. And somehow we're in it. Yeah. And halfway through it, we realize we're in the wrong roles. That we're like, yeah. well, wait a second. We're supposed to be over there. But we're over here. And then you see the gray hair and everything like that. That's what I want to see. And that's, that's when we turn the franchise over to two young grasshoppers. That's right. Uh, he grasshoppers, she grasshoppers, it doesn't mm-hmm. matter. Yeah. Just youth. It's yeah, at that youth. point youth would need to yeah. need to kick in. They um, grasshoppers will do it. Oh, this is interesting. Was mm-hmm. Prince ever on the set? Uh, because one episode Sean was talking about the strong smell of lavender and other stuff that related to Prince. Ooh. Wow. You know, you know what? I'm going to cut. I'm I'm going to admit something right now. I'm going to I'm mm-hmm. going to just lay it all out on the table. And I'm a big Prince fan. I am. I did not know that Prince had a thing for lavender. No, neither I, I did I. That. That's, but it's a crazy coincidence. It is. Berlinda I mean, likes I'd a men to take, shine. I'd love to take credit for, for that, but uh, we can't. No. Um, Dulé did dress up as Prince once and looked very good doing it, mm-hmm. but uh, that's probably the closest we ever got. What would Sean and Gus's reaction be if Sean ever actually had a psychic vision? You'll never know because it's a rule. It's the only mandate. It's the only mandate in the show. No such thing as, as ghosts or supernatural stuff. So it's not, that one's just going to dangle out there forever. It's going to dangle. It's going to be dangling like this. That's right. Uh, mm-hmm. Let's see. Love all the scary episodes of Psych, but what are you guys scared of in real life? Wow. Keeping oh, it real. Huh? Real, yeah. Uh... Oh, that's a good question. I don't, I don't know if I'm really scared of anything per se. That's because you're the Terminator. I'm the Terminator. Because you are, yeah, uh, yeah. You know? That's a that's a tough question. I mean, I think it's I think fear is probably relative. Uh, you know, maybe mm-hmm. maybe bad things happening to people that I love. I guess that's a legitimate fear, but. As far as I go, I think I'm with you, Dulé. We're sort of we're made mostly of of metal and yeah, technology. Teflon. Yeah. The two of us and Teflon, so it's not not a lot's going to come come at us that causes yeah. us to be scared. <sighs> Have you ever? Now, now mind you, I don't, I don't want you to challenge me either. Don't don't call me on that. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, yeah. everybody out there, don't try to scare me. Don't have me walking down the street and you can jump out at me and be like, you know, suck it. Don't do that. Don't yeah. please don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Please don't give him the Rockwell treatment. Um, yes. Mm-hmm. Have we ever accidentally called each other by our characters' names? No, because we're craftsmen. We're master craftsmen, and we recognize that there's a there's a moment there's a that you know we're James and Dulé, James and Dulé, James and Dulé, James and Dulé. Action! Sean and Gus. Right. Sean and right. Gus. Sean and Gus. Sean and Gus. It's a right. fine line, but yes, but we know the difference. I'm going to pause here for a second while we, but you know, just keep on going because my son is not going to sleep yet, so I have to tell him to go to sleep one more time. Yeah, this mm. is fun. Night, night, Levi. Night, night, son. Love you. He's already been up for 30 minutes while he's been in his crib. So uh, time for him to take his nap. So that's why yeah. I am telling him to go to sleep. Thank you. Oh, pull, pull back the curtain. Huh? It's nice. It's nice for the see, Well, it humanizes, it humanizes you. you know? Yeah, technology. Um, let's see. Outside of ourselves, who would make a great Sean and a great Gus? I mean... I know my answer. I know my answer. All right, you go first. I mean, he played a fake doctor, so why not play a fake Gus? Donald Faison. That's wow. right. I said it. I went there. That's right. Donald Faison. Who's going to top that? Wow. Um, you know, it's, I feel like there's a lot of pressure on me to, to, to say 
to say Zach Braff now, but uh, I'm not going to do it. it. I'm no. going to I'm going to throw a curveball instead, and I'm going to say Madeline Kahn comes back from the beyond and gives us and gives us a better version of Sean than I ever could have dreamed of delivering. That, so that there you have it, Khan and Faison. Khan and Faison, it rhymes. <sighs> what was your uh, favorite episode to shoot, Dulé? Ooh, my favorite one. Well, I think... Uh, not a nightmare, it's not a nightmare on State Street, I can tell you that much. No, it's not, it's not a nightmare on State Street, no. And it wasn't even here as last year because that was a lot of screaming. Pretty much yes, all the scary was. ones... Even though I enjoyed them, they were not my favorites because it was a lot of screaming. It was a lot of like, ah, ah, cut, let's go again, the action, ah, ah, you know, it was, it was a lot of that, you know what I mean? You know, so I would, maybe I would say Office Space, I would ah, say that was a good one. Last Night Gus, and I would Ooh. say A Player Named Gus. I enjoy uh-huh. all three of those. Oh, yeah, you know that's right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, on the other hand, didn't have to do nearly as much screaming as you. So I loved shooting Here's Lassie. Uh, you did all the heavy lifting in that one. And I just got to sit back and laugh. So I'll, I'll get heavy. Oh, and I also like to, uh, I really liked uh, uh, This Episode Sucks, where we dressed up. Oh, like, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Making the Bloody Mary. <laughs> that was so silly. Uh, that was okay, a we've one. got. Okay, we're down to the last question. We don't have to rush it. We've got we've got thirty seconds. Do you ever use your characters' catchphrases in real life? I certainly use "Come on, son." Yeah, because it yep. was not ours. It was it no. was Ed Lovers before it was ours. So I use Ed Lovers' catchphrase. That's right. Yeah, come on, son. Yeah, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, I don't really yeah. go around telling people you must be out of your damn mind. Well, here's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> here's, here's the thing. <laughs> That actually, you must be out of your damn mind was a joke that like, you know, my, my brother and, you know, one of my friends would say. So that's where I started saying, staying that from. But once he started doing psych, then I never really use it outside of psych again. And I don't tell people to suck it because that would just be weird walking no, down the street saying, no, weird. you suck it. He suck it. You know what I'm saying? People don't get that. It, people don't get that it's a catchphrase. Catch, yeah. Being it's on a subway. A creeper. We're suck weird, it. creepy people that. Suck it. You suck it. Arrested. Yeah, suck it. And and there you have it. Some top flight, high quality answers to fan questions, I'm as right. is always the case when you've got the two of us, uh, uh, rock rocking it. Rockwell style. <laughs> all right, psychos. It's the moment you've all been waiting for. Make sure you have the mm-hmm. peacock mm-hmm. open. And get ready stream. to right. stream. And to recap for those who just joined, we're going to stream Last Night Gus together right now That's right. on Peacock. Episode on Peacock. Episode on Peacock, us right here. Episode on Here Peacock. on YouTube. Here us on YouTube, us. Right here right. on YouTube. Let's do this. That's right. Peacock... Over here, Peacock. that's where the episode's streaming, yes, right? Peacock. You're with me on this, right? Us talking right about here. the episode on YouTube here on YouTube, right here on YouTube. All right, okay. we're not over there on Peacock. The episode right, is on Peacock. We, we episodes on, on Peacock. We're on YouTube. YouTube. All right, I think All so. Right, I think I'm clear now. I think so. Now check it out. Now the ad experience might be a little different based on the subscription you have, but if an ad pops up, just pause the video. Get a snack, and I promise they're fast, and you'll be okay. Just pause the video, get a snack. That's right. And come on back. Yeah. Get a good snack. Mm-hmm. Maybe Pick some pineapples right. or something. I don't know. Uh, and don't forget to stick around. Don't forget to stick around after for an exclusive look at Psych 3. This, this is, is Gus. Gus. That's right. Mm-hmm. We're going to tease yep. you afterwards, right? You laugh, 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 laugh. You think it's over. Boom! We hit you with a little more tickling. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Now, are we ready to press play, everybody? I mean, I'm ready. I'm ready. ready. Not ready. Delay. Ready. All right. Let's do this. Let's twist it. Oh, here we this go. It's going to be fun. Here we go. You know, I haven't seen this. Who the anticipation? Seen this episode uh, since we made it. So. Yeah. No. No. I haven't seen it since it aired because I did watch it when it aired. Well, it's because you're but yeah, it's a better ooh. person than I am. Humble brag. I mean, yes. Yeah, I mean, you know, you have like Timo, 
Maggie, right. me, and then like you were down But here, then so. Corbin's below that. Oh, yeah. of course. Yeah, right. Corbin is definitely below that. As long as I'm yeah. not last. All right, here we go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We should start by giving credit where it's due. This is an Andy Berman joint. Ooh. Uh, Andy Berman, who's with us since the very beginning, Mm -hmm. first season. He's like Steve's... Well, he started off sort of as like Steve's reversible belt, but he kind of grew into being like Steve's right hand. That's right, yeah. He evolved all the time. And I I would venture to say he knows the show just as well as we do, if not better. So it's not... It's no surprise that he created an, an episode that's so beloved by uh, by the fan base. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it was always fun playing uh playing cool Gus Gus thinking he's smooth. That was always one of my favorite uh, roles to play in terms of Gus. Yeah. <laughs> I think this location was in uh, North Vancouver, if I'm not mistaken. Is that Jim? I remember, for some reason, I remember going over the bridge and just being at like some mall over there, some strip mall. Oh, yeah. So we we retired an old cop named Jim. That's what we know so far. Jim. And there's the pier. There's the... And there goes good old, there goes old site pier. Santa Monica pier that we moved to White Rock. Uh Uh-oh. That's right. What in the world? What in the world? <laughs> it's funny when you go back and you watch things, it brings back just memories because I sure enough do remember uh, filming the scene and that Winky Cuttle. Oh, yeah, you're cuddling Winky with Winky Cuttle. It's funny, everyone sort of assumed yeah. that the, the major inspiration behind the episode was uh, The Hangover uh, for obvious reasons, but to talk to Andy. Um, you know, he'll tell you that it was on Golden Pond, and if you just watch closely, I yeah. think you'll, I think you can see some some very subtle winks uh, to the classic Henry Fonda, Catherine Hepburn vehicle as well. I mean, I mean that moment right there was yeah, it. I that's mean that true. that little flash that was. I thought it was connected. I thought it was connected to our cocoon. Oh right, there's some cocoon. Remember there's some movie? cocoon in here too. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm-mm. If I recall correctly, <laughs> there's a pretty good payoff to the gold chain. The, yeah, the gold chain has a pretty good payoff. I actually didn't even remember the payoff until we started watching <laughs> this, and I was like, wait a uh-huh. second. <laughs> good old Kurt Fuller. We're building a mystery. That's what we're doing here. Yeah. Just putting all the pieces out there. It's like we're going to re- reverse engineer this episode, you know? How do we get here? That's not good. That's really not good. You see how we like we lay out the the, the freaking out. That's right. And then we just kind of he, he, we just put a, a little a little twinkle of a of a freaking out. Sweet. 
Stugat. Hmm? Uh-oh. <laughs> That's number two. That's number two with the freak out. That's number two. We're building to it. We're building to it. Now, mind you, I didn't know what I was going to do right here. I had no idea. We just called action and then this is what happened everybody <laughs> this this was it <laughs> you threw a little nasty, nasty dance. dance I got the nasty dance in there <laughs> yeah Little bonus nasty dance. Uh oh. Connecting the yeah. dots. Connecting oh, yeah. the dots. It's the guy in the Hawaiian shirt. Mm hmm. It's not looking good. Great way to bring in some credits. Yeah. Make it a Bloody Mary. I'm going to call myself right out right now. After 15 years, you would think I know the entire theme song of Psych, but if that song was not playing, I would not be able to sing it. I'm going to call myself out. I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed, everybody. I'm ashamed, okay? I'm sorry. You know, I'm, I'm going to try to, by Psych 4, I'm going to try to have it learned. You've dropped the gauntlet on yourself. I did. By Psych 4, I know the theme, the theme song. Oh, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> Good. <laughs> this is not good. It's not good. Tim's a smoke show, even when he's supposed to look like he's been on a bender. <laughs> Get that stern bush. That's premium. Cool ass Timo. <laughs> <laughs> Just so ridiculous. <laughs> that's, uh, that's Tim Robinson doing the uh, doing the, the Caruso. The Caruso from <laughs> taking off the shades. <laughs> I. 
I, I just remember before the episode started, I was like, look, do what you want with my hair as long as it's big. I just want it to be big, you know? That's what you want. You just, you just want a big hair. And I, you want it big and I want it none hair. None. It's the squeakiness of the voice, yes. though. The, the cracking with emotion. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I guess immediately... <laughs> <laughs> Classic cut. <laughs> you gotta be Pass clear, it. man. You gotta. It's like, in case it goes south, is where everybody be clear. Lassie was the one who shouted. It's like Woody. What were you thinking? We just wanted to pee together. Ah, yes, the downstairs set. The downstairs, yeah. Terry Gar esque. Here we go. Terry Gar. Yeah, you pulled that one out. What season is this from? Do you remember? My guess is going to be season six. Season That's going to be six. my guess. Oh, you know. Which means we would have been somewhere. Please, psych psychos, let me know if I'm correct. Inside the comments, yeah, let me know if I'm correct. Is it season six? Season six? Am I right? Feel free to do anything else you want inside of the uh, chat room, as long as you know. How about it's, it's legal? Yeah. How about some fist bumps? Yeah. You know, we can do like fist bumps like Emojis, this. You can do fist bumps like this. You know, reconnect with pineapple old, in the with middle. Old psycho friends, like get in there. That's what it's yeah. there for. Yeah, like boom, and the pineapple drop right in the middle. Or you know, you can just drop the pineapple. Just. Pineapple in the middle. And if any of this feels confusing you know I mean? to you and you can't see the episode, it's probably because it's probably because the episode is on the Pacock and you're here on And on we're here. YouTube. Right. And it's gonna see, take right. so, both of those platforms working together for you to have the full experience. Together. I mean, you can sit and watch us talk about something that you can't see, but it'd be even more fun if you could see what we're talking if about. So Peacock over on here Pacock. episode. YouTube right here. Stay put. Right here. YouTube. These two right here. These two dummies. Yes. All right. You know what I want to know, Psychos? Just drop in the comments what years you went to Comic-Con to see the psych panel. What years were you there? That's what I want to know. Tell me. Tell me. I want to know things. And then, as an addendum, also, also say whether or not you felt like I knew that I was there. Because there were, there were some years where I Ooh. felt like I was more present than others. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's see. Let's. These are things we. These are things we want to know. Things we want to know. <laughs> <laughs> so ridiculous. <laughs> this, you know, this was like one of the few times that we really let 
let Woody loose outside of the coroner's office. Sure enough. Mm -hmm. He knocked it out the park. Baby Thor. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't think Baby Thor was actually in the script. <laughs> I think that was an improv by you, Rode. Once, <laughs> once this. Uh, you just never know. My man was I cast. Just never know what you're what you're dealing with until uh, all no. the ingredients are in the bowl. You know what I mean. <laughs> Woody is an idiot. <laughs> you really. <laughs> yeah. Jessica ah, the Lucas. lovely Jess Lucas. Yeah. It's one of the rougher, like a play one of the rougher Gus days that they like, had on set, I remember. It was so <laughs> hard to work this day. Like, ah. Oh. It's just so the challenging. struggle is real. And that's, an, again, a testament yeah. to how good of an actor he is. Yeah, I had to like dig yeah. deep. I remember he was, was yeah, he was rinsing his mouth out with Listerine in between takes. Yeah, this was like a, a day I was like, I can't stand being an yeah. actor. I can't it stand it. It almost broke you, if I recall. It almost did. Yep, almost, almost like walked off yeah. the show. Almost left the show after this moment. Hmm? I had to take him outside in the parking lot. Too late. It's one episode. Try, you know, big picture, man. I've done almost a hundred of these. It's one episode. Take one for the team. Take one for the team. Gus is an idiot. <laughs> Gus is. Just driving around the broken blueberry. The, the blueberry's been through a lot. It hanging. It, you know, the blueberry. The blueberry really went through a lot, but stayed with us for a long time. You know. And I remember this location was way out in the like way out in the boondock somewhere. Not as many uh, donut shops in in Vancouver proper as you think. No. Uh -uh. Just like Tiny Tim. <laughs> Tiny Timo. Maybe they recognize you from Children of the Core. <laughs> <laughs> I already said Gus is an idiot. <laughs>
There we go. That's a clue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Putting it all together. Oh. <laughs> huh? Do you remember who Bobo is? I do remember who Bobo is. Oh, it's the donuts that there you... goes Bobo. Sprinkles. So that's another thing I want to know. I was going to ask you beforehand, but psychos let me know if you knew who bobo yeah. was before you saw that's bobo right. and don't lie Put it in the comments drop it in don't there. lie you know what i mean it's pretty cool you can say me or you can say nah it's cool to be on both teams mm. And here's the thing. It's been so long since I've seen this. I can't remember who that guy I can't is. Either. It's like we're watching this all for the first time together. We're figuring out the mystery. We're unraveling the mystery. I don't know how it ends. Together. I really don't. I do remember how it ends. Uh, one part of it, though. Because I'm, I'm, I'm drunk. Or drugged. Scott Williams, the name Here's of a little the clue. psych director <laughs> of photography, starting season four. That's, that's right. Scott Williams. Scott. That's Scott Williams. Well, the character Scott Did Williams. Did he come in season of five? Maybe it was season five. I can't remember. Scott. Scott might have been season five. Before that, it was Mike McMurray. Scott. Otherwise known One as the Sunshine other. Butt. Yeah. See? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> it's... Now, why did Gus have that piece of information just in his back pocket? Gus. I have no idea. Here's another thing I will tell you, psychos. I don't remember what they talked Neither about. Neither do I. Nope. I'm like, was he talking about getting married? Is, could, could, that, could that have been it? Psychos, here's the thing. Let me know if you know what they were talking about already. Drop it in the comments. Let us know. Is it marriage? Is it about having a baby? Is it... Oh, I think it's maybe like they're going to move in together, maybe? Is it moving in together? Maybe. Let's see. Boom. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, that's how. Sean, the art of that's avoidance. That's how you do it. Sean Spencer. You see? <laughs> <laughs> There's your title. <laughs> the Last Night Gus.
Good old Dobson. Now we know who played Dobson. Well. All those years. Now we know who Dobson is. Yep. Yep. All this time. All this time, Dobson was sitting right there. Yeah, there. just who knew hanging that? out with Val Kilmer for eight years. For eight years. Well, Psychos, I was going to ask you to put it in the chat who Dobson is, but Rodé Rodriguez. Just and it wasn't even that good that of a joke. You. I ruined your thing, and it and it wasn't even it wasn't even good. You see? You see? Uh oh. Mm, that's not good. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> little love, little love for Tom Wopat, yeah. free of charge. You see. Good old Corby Burnson. Now I think is this is the episode I think where the clip of us jumping into the pool. Oh yeah, it's all of our stunt doubles. So in 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 the. Uh, Opening credits in later seasons, you see us jumping into a pool. I think that that's uh, this is where and this if comes you just, from. If you I didn't, freeze the the frame, you could probably see that it's none of our faces. Tis true. Tis Andy true. Andy Berman is a brilliant writer, director, comedian uh, with one single shortcoming. Uh, he's the only person on the planet that thinks it's hysterically funny uh, to have people jump into water fully clothed. Tis true. It got to a point where we, we, we said, we're not doing that. We said, okay, enough of the water, enough. Yeah. He's tucking it into a towel. This cat, I remember this dude had me rolling every time he did this scene. For some reason, I, he was just hilarious to me. <laughs> Here we go. Hey. That music tells you that stuff's about to get real. It's about to go down. Here it is. Insert this into the opening credits. Look at that. See, look at we that. We got a, I remember we got a bunch of extra money from the studio for that explosion because we wanted the we wanted the fire to look really good. Really, see, there it is, and that's. <laughs> and that's what we got. <laughs> that's what we got. Hey, 
You want big, realistic explosions? Go watch old episodes of Burn Notice. Can you use it? <laughs> so here's another question for you. Do you all know who's about to walk through this door? Ah, it's too late. Ah. Do you know what he's going to say? Do you know what he's going to say? That is Ed Lover, ladies and gentlemen. That is Ed Lover, everybody. Who is the originator of Come On, Son. There it is. <laughs> That's where we got come on son from, Mr. Ed Lover. <laughs> That's That's how you drop a cameo. <laughs> That's how you do it. <laughs> Have I said it was always my favorite to play Smooth Gus? Such an idiot. <laughs> How many scenes do you think Kirsten played from that exact position? Oh, that's that's a good question. Well, that's a good trivia question, Cycles. How many scenes has Kirsten Nelson played from that same position behind her desk? Does any do any of you know? I mean, this is a real that's a cycle level that's to the true. max if you know this. Put it in the comments if you know. Put it in the comments. For anyone just joining the fun, if you can only see Dulé and I, it's because you're not also streaming the episode on the on the Peacock. On the Peacock. Quick reminder. You have to stream it on the Peacock. Episodes stream on, on the, the Peacock. peacock. Two fools on YouTube. YouTube. Gotta have them both. It's like peanut butter and chocolate. Peacock over yep. there. The episode over there on Peacock. We're here on YouTube. Yeah. Can't have Hall without Oats. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you have to admit, that, that close-up of that guy right there, he looks a little bit like... Uh, Jeffrey Donovan. Yes, he does. Like a, like a, you know, who's been in the are gym. Are we sure it's not Jeffrey? Did we never have Jeffrey I don't think on we are. to do like a silly, fun cameo that nobody ever knew about? Maybe we did. I mean, maybe, maybe that was it. Maybe that was it. That that could that's, be that's, that's, that's what I'm Donovan in some prosthetics. That's Donovan to me. Come on. I mean, that's Mike Weston. If, it, if you know, if, <laughs> it, wasn't his name on Burn Notice, Mike yeah. Weston? Yep, that's Mike. That's Mike Weston right there. Come on now. Now that's how you drop some pipe into into an episode three quarters of the way through. <laughs> Tim Amundsen laying the pipe. And Maggie <laughs> backing him up. Backing him up. Amundsen and Lawson, the pipe layers. Uh oh. Oh, yeah, that's right. Hmm? 
I remember what's coming. Yep. Yeah. It's not going to be good for you. Another guts. femme fatale. You see? <laughs> see? There's always something else going on with Gus and his lady. Oh, Gus. <laughs> you know, always watch your drinks, everybody. Always watch your drinks. Oh, that's bedroom talk. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's bedroom talk right there. It's bedroom talk or murder talk. Good old Sage Brocklebank. I mean, this is some pipeline right yeah. here. Come on now. It's it's when you want to focus on the on the funny and then realize you've only got six minutes left to close off an episode, you gotta start dropping in some facts. You know what I'm saying? You gotta start dropping yep, you gotta start dropping the pipe like bombs. Missiles. <laughs> Here comes some good <laughs> stuff from <laughs> <Hill>. <laughs> <laughs> this is another one where I didn't know what I was going to do. We, we just had the camera rolling. <laughs> and then I hopped up on Oh. <laughs> so ridiculous. So ridiculous. <laughs> That's the one thing about psych, you, you know, you never know where the ridiculous is going to come, but you know it's coming. <laughs> so <laughs> shoot out shoot out might I say that everybody is a really bad yeah. aim right here because there's a lot of bullets that fly and Gus is one lucky dude yeah <laughs> <laughs> There's the shot. There it is. <laughs> Gus saved the day. Gus saves the day. It's one of the two episodes that we did uh, over eight seasons where Gus Gus saved the day. Yeah, that's solid, man. You see? Yeah, you know what I mean? He saved... He was always coming he through. Saved, uh, always coming through. He saved Juliet on the clock tower. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Holding that minute hand. That's the one where... Oh, yeah. Yep. Dolly was worried. Yep. Was that the same episode where Gus was a chair? 
Or oh, Gus is a table. I guess it, table. Yeah, Gus is a table. So. Was that the same episode? I'm trying. Yeah. Let me know if I'm correct. Am I correct, psychos? Was Gus a table in that episode? Yeah. Drop some emojis and some and some fun banter into that chat room. Yeah. If I'm wrong, then say, come on, son. If I'm right, say, come on, son. <laughs> and see, that part, get out of here with that bull. Really, Ed Lover, he would go and take it to a non-PG That's level right. with, the, with the rest of that phrase, which we couldn't do on Basic Cable or for this show, so. Those of you who know where I was going could just fill That's in right. blanks. You know what's very weird right now? What's very meta is we're looking back on Juliet, a.k.a. Maggie Lawson, talking about the future us. But now we are in the future. Right. We do know where they have gone. You see? Juliet doesn't know that they're going to get married. Right. They don't just know that. Not in this episode. But we do. It's, it's like we are like psychics right now, everybody. We are like real shows. That's shots. what happens when you, you get old and keep making the same show. You see? But it will. Yeah. All you got to do, Jules, is wait for Pretty me. soon we're going to have a loft in Gastown. Yes, yes, yes. That's right. Well, the, the loft is not going to be in Gastown. The loft is going to be in Santa That's Barbara. Right. But the loft is in Gastown. For those of you, you, I mean, I'm sure you all know. But this is all filmed in Vancouver. That's right, British Columbia. That's right. In the country of Canada. Anytime that music starts, you know it's probably safe to, uh, you know, start doing something else. <laughs> it's about to be over. Ah, come on come on thank psychos. you for watching an episode with us psychos that was awesome that's right it's nice to be back together yeah, again you know what I mean down memory lane yes sure enough it was like you and me and Rodé Rodriguez all of us that's together right. with this you know table of delicious flavorness you know what I'm saying his head was come so round and Hershey kiss like it was. I had no hair on there. Now look at all this hair. Nice. I, well, yeah, good. I had no gray. Look at all this gray on the well, side. That's Bill Williams. Come, Come on. on. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is great. This is great. This has been a good time. But you know what? Thank you again so much for watching and, yeah. and reminiscing with yes. us. And, and since you did stick with Going us down through, two, through a, through a multi-platform experience, drum roll, please. Thank you. Thank you. Do that. We would now love for you to enjoy this sneak peek of Psych 3, This Is Gus, streaming November 18th on The Peacock. Boom! What? What? I was drum rolling over there. You can see this all unfolding behind us here. The killer had, up until this point, managed to elude identification despite his... Excuse me, please. Thank you. Excuse me. This is outrageous. My client has no comment. Step aside, please. We need to get him in for processing. Hold on. You got the wrong guy. Chief. That's right. I'm back. Drink it in. Who's this guy? He's the chief of police. Aren't you supposed to be rehabbing right now? As long as I've got a police scanner, consider me multitasking and on the job. I will, sir, from here on out. Now listen up, because this one's got a twist. Your suspect has chest hair. Chest hair? I mean, it's child's play compared to mine, but our killer waxes. OK, but we have matching tire prints. Right tires, wrong wear. But he's got the same neck tattoo as the ATM security footage. Wrong side of the spine. 
Chief, all, all due respect, but this would require a frame job of epic proportions. Which is why you need to arrest his lawyer. <laughs> what? His own lawyer framed him. How? It's simple. You take an empanada, wrap it in a burrito. Excuse me? Gus, be quiet. I know it's not on the menu. But an empanada burrito is not an unreasonable request because they have made it for me in the past. Nope, nope, I won't do it, Sean. Their tortillas cannot right, support um... the filling and the weight of a pastry shell. I'm not gonna walk up to the takeout counter looking like an amateur, especially when I have one more hole left on my punch card. Gus, don't be Adrian Brody's last breath in the village. I am trying to break down Lasseter's case here. Will you kindly suck it? You suck it. Suck it! Did he just tell me to suck it? You suck it. You suck it. You flame suck it. Flame suck it! I think he told you to flame suck it. How dare you? Wait a second. Is this thing on when I press the button or when I let it go? Oh my gosh. So, how does this tortilla fit into the case? Lassie, are you hearing this? Check um, one, two, check. check it does six, by, um... Sibilance. You getting that? By virtue of the, um... Empanada? Hey, that's a fun word to say. Empanada! Uh-oh. He's improvising, Gus. This could be trouble, and it's your fault. It's not good. Empanada, empanada. It's not good. If you could have waited five minutes, control your appetite for five minutes, so we could have ordered like gentlemen. We could have waiting, done this Sean. first, and then everything would have been, been waiting. I have been oh, waiting. Screw it. You know what you did. What? Book him, McNabb. On what? Book him. Get him out of here. Get that lousy sack of crap. Okay. Out well, here. he. He wrapped it up. He's walking away. He must have pulled it off. No thanks to you. Suck it, Sean. Suck it, suck it, Tavi. Suck it, suck it, Tavi. Suck it, suck it, Tavi. Sick, Tav. Suck it, suck it, Tav. Suck, Tav. The Mongols killed the snake. The Mongols killed the snake. The Mongols killed the snake. That Mongols killed the. Of course, I want rice and beans. Get extra guac. And extra guac, please.